drive over here, where we're going to have two kernel envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be a moment, so get it. You know, get it while you got it. <laughs> it's going to be truly unique. Uh, right up front, it, I hope for all the dignitaries that, that you'll indulge us, we'll be here all afternoon if Will Williams and I get up here and say thanks to all of you for coming and the role that you played in Dave and Natasha's up, And Natasha's going to come up and we'll do what would normally be one promotion ceremony and we'll get through the, the pinning of it all and the reaffirming of the oath and then David and I will come up here and we'll do it again. <laughs> with it. But, but that time we'll, we'll switch it around and, and you know, family will play a different role in pinning folks on and then we'll get a chance to hear from the other ladies in Tampa. And they're newly promoted. And see the level of star power that's here today. You could say intimidating, but really, really amazing to see you all. <laughs> it is my role to be the promoting official for Natasha. It is my great honor to be her promoting official. Um, we have acknowledged all the distinguished guests, but in the role as we look at brain officers. And we thought she had all the attributes, the physical fitness, the moral fortitude and character, the leadership attributes to be a Marine officer. She didn't necessarily agree with that at the time. But it was because of great leadership, but at the time, the Commonwealth Bishop in General Allen, another cadre, that we were fortunate enough to get her into our Marine Corps family. And boy, did we get it right. If you look at her biography, she's done absolutely everything the Marine Corps has asked her to do, and she's done it with professionalism. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the office to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things there do belong. And I do strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser grade to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow orders and directions from time to time as may be given by the President of the United States of America or other superior officers acting in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. This commission is to continue in force during the pleasure of the President of the United States of America under the provisions of those public laws relating to officers of the armed forces of the United States of America and the component thereof in which this appointment is made. Done at the City of Washington this 30th day of November and the year of our Lord, 2023, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 247th, by the President, Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps, Carlos Del Toro, Secretary of the Navy. Hey, everyone, please be seated. Right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Natasha McCahan Everly. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. 
Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office on which. Of the office on which. I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> time together in the last 10 years than, than David and I do, but I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be part of this ceremony. Um, so congratulations, right? and, and good, great call, great audible capture in the moment, just, just for a moment. You should have said something. It's like that moment when you re-enlist somebody and they're out, and you can be like, you know, I've been wanting to say it. Um, and here we are. It has, it has come to fruition through all these many, 28, going on 29 years later in David's case. Right, family. I started to highlight some of them. Not, not everybody made the trip. We know mom's watching, right? Very, very proud of what was a skeptical decision some 29 years ago, like, is this the way to go? Um, and dad, brother Aaron, you know, sharing a room, growing up, knocking him around, making sure he had the, the rough and tumble edges. Thank you, right, for for ensuring that, yep, we, apparently we are on the right path. And, and Dad, it, it's, I think it's all worked out now. We're, we're pretty confident that, uh, that this is all born its way. And, um, you know, fa family plays a big role. We got the big family and, and was rightfully highlighted. We, we got the family right up here. Now, being a military family is hard enough. And many of you in this room, our military families have come from military families. You know what I'm talking about? Imagine having two parents that are military leaders, not just members, have their own responsibilities. And then look at these four, right? If that wasn't the cutest thing you've seen all week, right? <laughs> and you're going to get to see it again. If that doesn't give you faith in our future, right? I'm going to conclude in the future. I mean, I, I'm going I'm to look at you and not call you Colonel Everly for a minute. I'm going to say Natasha. I'm going to say to the four of you, thank you. Thank you for supporting your dad. Thank you for supporting him and, and allowing him to do the things that I'm going to very quickly capture here in, in, just a, in just a small moment. But without all of you behind him, behind them, I guarantee you this couldn't have happened. <laughs> Come on up, baby. Let's do this one more time. Sergeant Major, please post the order. Attention to order, do by with the consent of the Senate, appoint this officer a Brigadier General in the United States Marine Corps to rank as such on the first day of March 2024. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the office to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto belonging. And I do strictly charge, require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer to observe and follow orders and directions from time to time, as may be given by the President of the United States of America or other superior officers acting in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. This commission is to continue in force during the pleasure of the President of the United States of America under the provisions of those public laws relating to officers of the armed forces of the United States of America and the component thereof in which this appointment is made. Done at the City of Washington this first day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 247th, by the President, Eric M. Smith, Commandant for the Marine Corps, Carlos Del Toro, Secretary of the Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
And I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office upon which. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Where's the senior stand on the left or right? <laughs> Chow line, and I'd walk up. There was this one moment, it was lunch chow, it's his birthday. Um, and I walked up and I said, Hey, what are you doing for your birthday this weekend? And all his friends looked at him as, Why does he the baseball know it's your birthday? <laughs> so, but what I, what I really want to do, so he's an F 35 pilot. Captain Jackson, stand up. Right? first cousins. So that is a huge, huge family. Um, and part of what shaped who I am today um, is uh, watching my mom and my dad, um, mostly my mom, but both open up our home uh, to all of that family. It didn't matter if it was a first cousin, uh, a play cousin, most of you know who that is, what that means. Um, it didn't have to be blood family. It could just be someone who needed a hot meal or um, some love and some laughter uh, and my mom opened up our home to so many people and that example of kindness has stuck with me and that example of understanding that family um, is what we make it uh, is a part of who I am and how I see life today so thank you so much uh, mom of note every time we go home I meet a new cousin and she doesn't know who they are and <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. That is a fact. Uh, I have like, I don't know, 70, 80, second, third cousins. It's a lot. The general acknowledged my dad who couldn't fly. My dad and my uncle were both Vietnam vets. So just wanted to recognize them. Um, I have dust in here. <laughs> so thanks for doing that. Mom's not with us, she's watching. It's still a lot of dust. <laughs> and I know she's smart. Um, and I think uh, over the past 10 years, this bucket here probably represents uh, something that's been the most important to us as we grown our family uh, and met so many wonderful people and so we have a couple different smaller buckets here. Um, I'm going to start with uh, with David and I'll say I may be uh, just a tad biased uh, but um, I want to make sure that you all um, remember one thing. Uh, don't let his rank or the rank fool you. David married up. <laughs> I'd let you all kind of think about who would wear what. <laughs> but uh, Dave and I met here in Quantico, actually, uh, over 15, 16 years ago now, uh, in the building that many of you know of, Daily Hall. We were both working for TCOM uh, in different sections. And after about several months of waiting for him to stop hitting on me, he finally asked me out, uh, which he never did. Uh, I went ahead and took that initiative, something I learned here at the basic school. <laughs> I asked him out, uh, and I'll say it paid off. Uh, 
<laughs> We've been together uh, ever since. She um, did ask me out. That part is true. That's the only part true. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely hitting on me. But uh, Lord knows uh, David and I have had our, our um, ups and downs. I will tell you, whoever says that uh, marriage um, is easy, uh, we all know in here, if you've been married, that they were definitely not married. <laughs> they say it's a walk in the park. They were referring to, in our case, probably something like Jurassic Park. <laughs> it has been challenging. Uh, and thank God we've had so many more ups than we've had downs. And as much as this man can get on my last, their very last one, if you want, um, I will tell you, there's no one here who is more proud of you than I am. Dust. Dust. I have seen how hard this man works, and I can tell you, he deserves it today. Enough of that, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I told you we didn't script this, so... Uh, I'll scratch the colonel joke, which is I was going to do right now. <laughs> uh, we want to hear the colonel joke? It is now. So you're right. Maybe at home. Um, so she said it all, which is, you know, it's, it's never easy. And there's, only, there's one, the one best Marine with the last name Everly is right here. That's a fact. Yes. I worked at Manpower. I've seen a record. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, right, so we all, the Marine, have a bunch of titles, and, and, and we love the rank, but mom and wife are the most important things here that I can tell you nobody does it better. We have four little people here that have been highlighted that I don't know how she does it, but gets their time, her, they, they get her time, and the Marine Corps gets their time, and a bunch of other folks get a lot of time. And I'm not sure how. And she does it with a happy heart. So this is the, the woman who makes me a better Marine, a better dad, a better man, a better Christian. And I love you, Colonel. <laughs> So it's still on me, okay. Uh, that was the joke. Just, uh, uh, so we often get asked, hey, how do you do it? It's really challenging, and you've heard all those, these things. So I'm gonna give us, I'm gonna give you the secret weapon today. I, I, I will swear you secrecy, right? So it's called godparents. So we have a core of godparents. Some are here, there are a few not here that are our secret weapon, right? And I want them to stand up, because that's the easiest way, because they're spread out. So if you're a godparent, and here's the rules in the Everly House. If, you're, if we ask you to be the godparent to one child, after you agree, you get all four. <laughs> so uh, if you're a godparent, if, we, if you can stand up. Depends on the morning, sometimes, uh, and how, how my, my kids acted that morning, my answer might be, I don't feel like I'm doing it well at all. Um, other times, uh, I feel like I've finally gotten ahead, and as a mom, we all know that that's a rare moment. Uh, and it's also a fleeting moment, because then you realize uh, that you forgot to pack your kid lunch. Uh, they get Cheez-Its, uh, but they're big, so they're 60th percentile, they'll be fine. Uh, but those who know, us well, who know our family well, know that uh, the secret weapon for our chaotic life, um, one that, that I absolutely love, because I love serving, I love being in the Marine Corps, I, I love you know, working with Marines daily, and the secret weapon to both of our ability to do that uh, is called a, a Miss Peggy. Right. Yeah. Yeah.
She gives them godly advice, uh, or sometimes good advice, depends on what the situation calls for. <laughs> she can do that too. Um, she drives them to everything that, that David and I just can't be home for, I, and so much more. And I'll tell you, uh, it's hard to do. Like, you know, not everybody can be someone like uh, Miss Peggy Harrion. It takes uh, just loads of wisdom, it takes uh, a lot of Jesus, um, it takes a ton of patience. Take some street credibility as well. Um, it takes the willingness to travel to a small city in North Carolina with one main road and still do that with a happy heart and smile every single day. And I'll tell you, I don't think that that exists anywhere else other than in this road here with this woman that I love. Thank you for everything. Um, when I was gonna, I was thinking strongly about getting out after um, my uh, fourth child, baby Grace there. Um, and she looked at me and said, I got you. I know you love what you do. I got you. Um, and that's what I needed um, to be able to do what I, uh, continue to do what I'd love to do. And so I appreciate you dearly. Thank you so much. And the kids, I know that they can be difficult <laughs> at times, um, but just know that you know how much they love you and they appreciate you. Um, and just look forward to continue to um, uh, see how, how much you help us raise these beautiful children and what they grow into. So thank you. Okay, I think I'm getting the, the wrap it up look. Um, maybe it's almost done. Okay. Um, so first, we are super overwhelmed by the support and, and by everyone here in attendance and, and can't thank you enough. Um, okay, go ahead. We'll make do that. Okay. Um, we'll pretend like we, I didn't miss anything, right? So um, we've seen the kids up here twice to, to doing, doing what we rehearsed. We actually rehearsed that part. It went nothing like uh, we rehearsed it. So, <laughs> so to, to our four you know, humans who are probably prayer, the best we have, an open door, an open ear, every single opportunity to change somebody's life in a positive manner, and you'll continue to get <coughs> jokes from me calling her Colonel, <laughs> but more importantly, you'll continue to have a family who loves what they do, loves the folks they're around, and loves being a Marine, being Marines. And you, you will continue to get that from us. So thank you for being here. Semper Fidelis and God bless. Like gears in complex machinery, Godparents' endurance is extended by periodic lubrication. The tokens presented to the Godparents here today aim to optimize the sustained support of the godparents moving forward. If you could bring the godparents uh, our token, uh, those are for the kids, those are coming. But the token, yeah, bring those too, thanks Reggie. But the things that have little bottles in them are for the godparents. We're, not, we're, we're, we're essentially continuing to buy their service uh, through those are for the kids. And Friendships, their leadership, their worth, and more important, their contributions. And thank you, God, for elevating them to the next level. May the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion, rest, root, and abide, henceforth and forevermore. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Amen.